Hi guys, so today we are replacing the screen on a Dell E7440 Ultrabook. Uh, it's the business notebook line from Dell. And uh, as you can see, the default resolution is 1366 by 768, which is terrible if you spend all day in Excel like I do. So we went to laptopscreen.com and uh, got ourselves a nice new 1920 by 1080 display so we are going to install that today while the laptop shutting down uh, you can see that I have basically a credit card and uh, normally we use like a guitar pick or something but I don't play guitar so I have a collar stay which is going to work just as well um, the screwdriver which is small uh, I believe it's a number one Phillips um, and then a small flathead as well just in case the credit card doesn't do what I want it to do with removing the bezel on the outside of the screen. So uh, first things first, uh, going to go ahead and take out the battery, which is very easy because this is a business laptop. It's designed to swap batteries. We're going to open the screen back up. I've cheated a little bit and already kind of popped the seal on this, uh, this bezel. So we're going to go around the edge and lightly pop this out. This is plastic, so be careful. There's a little bit of adhesive along the inboard edge. That's okay, that'll come off once we are we've got everything loose. Also as a side disclaimer, I'm not a Dell technician, uh, so I take no responsibility if you damage your screen, so proceed at your own risk, but given that you are watching this video, I'm going to go ahead and assume you have some prior technical ability and aptitude. I apologize in advance, I'm not going to edit this video, so if you want to skip to the more interesting part that isn't me slowly undoing this bezel, I encourage you to do so. I'd be skipping it too if I were you. Alright, this is that part we said about cheating earlier. Try not to damage the Wi-Fi antenna that's back there. We are in business now, kids.
right. So you can see, or maybe you can see, the tabs engage from the inboard out all the way around. So basically what you're doing when you're pulling off the bezel is pressing in. So now, the hard part is essentially done. Uh, what we're going to do is pop off these four screws. One, two, three, four. As a general best practice, anytime you're working on something like this, uh, be very careful to place the screws so that you know which one goes back where. So, before we do anything real interesting, we're gonna pop out our screen, make sure that it looks the same. Mounting holes line up, that's generally a pretty good sign. This little guy looks like he's bent. We're gonna straighten him out. That's no big deal. That'll do the trick. So this is the 1920 by 1080 matte finish screen. Should be the IPS screen, not the TN screen. Set that over here for right now. So just real quick, you can see this is the ribbon cable slot that we're going to be engaging. has got adhesive on the back. Still be nice and gentle pulling it off. And that's going to give you a handle to pull that ribbon cable out. Hopefully. Ah, so there's a little latch there. It needs to be flipped up, and the ribbon cable disengages very nicely. It's a good thing we caught that, otherwise I would have hosed this cable. Don't make my mistakes. That's why you're watching the video, right? Seats very nicely. Hear that little click. Put the pad back on. I 
which is also adhesive bank. And then of course as a secondary lacking feature we go ahead and throw that tape back over. Make sure it sits fairly nicely in the holes. Now the first thing I am going to do before I run any screws in is power it on to make sure that it actually turns on and I don't have to take it back apart. Screws are just throwing in to make sure the screen doesn't fall over when I flip the laptop and set the battery back in. Moment of truth, fingers crossed. It's a great sign. Screen looks good, it's going to boot up. SSD should hopefully keep this going quickly. Looky there, kids. 1920 by 1080. Beautiful. So the screen's so good you can actually see the scratches in the shift knob on this photo that I've got as my background. That's a good sign. So we are going to go ahead and shut her back down. Finish installing everything. We'll toss this bezel back on. We'll be good to go. These screws don't have to be very tight at all. Please don't over tighten them. It's a common rookie technician mistake. It really drives me crazy as an engineer. So there's a screen protector on here. You can't see it, but you can see the 13C. So we're going to peel that up a little bit so that it's easy to pop off once we get the bezel all the way on. Actually, because I trust my workmanship, we're just going to pull it all the way off now. I don't know if you can hear in the background, but you can hear the bored size of my wife as I finish this video. Hush.
You don't have to press hard. I wouldn't say press hard. I would say press with confidence. Just try and stay to the outer edge of the screen so you don't uh, put a finger through your shiny new LCD, yeah? There you have it. No dead pixels as far as I can see. And now I can properly use Excel. I actually get paid at the end of the day. That's all. Have a good day. And uh, just as a reminder, this was a in LCDScreens.com screen, 1080 by 1920 for a Dell E7440 Ultrabook. Have a good day.